Hey guys, so today in this quick little video, I want to compare a little bit here on the iPhone 4, iOS 7.1 beta 3 here on this iPhone uh, and the latest beta of iOS uh, versus iOS 7.0.4, uh, which is uh, on my other iPhone here, uh, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna compare them a little bit here in, in this little video. Uh, so the first thing here uh, that I want to point out is the UI changes. So start off here with the power off screen. You can see more like a rounded off design inside of the iPhone 4 with the beta. You can see it kind of lags here. It kind of lags on both actually. But the key thing here is that it's more rounded off design, which could be nice. Another little key thing here is when we uh, pop up the uh, the uh, the dialer here, uh, you can also see a difference here uh, in how it looks, especially with the call button there. Uh, but also, if you would go into like voicemail, uh, you would be able to see that the whole system overall uh, is uh, way more uh, rounded off in terms of the design. So that is one of those big, big, big things uh, in this little updates. Another little thing here is, yeah, you don't get that parallax option inside of the iPhone 4 actually uh, with the beta, but I have videos on that on my iPhone 5S and iPhone 5. Uh, so you can definitely be taking a look at that if you would like. Uh, green color is a little bit more lighter here or darker actually in color on the Beta 3. Uh, you can see there on the phone app, the FaceTime app uh, and also the messages app that it just looks darker in, in terms of the green color. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear as far as what I could see with my eyes. Maybe I have a problem with my eyes. Uh, let's see if we do have this new thing. If we go into... Accessibility. Uh, general accessibility. And then you go down to increase contrast. You can see you have two more options inside of the iPhone 4 here. First, darker and darker colors, which I might, not, I'm really not sure what, what it's doing. Um, I tried to see before if it was with the keyboard, but I couldn't find any. But uh, definitely, this reduced white point is like making the white colors a little bit lighter when you have it enabled, as far as I could tell. And that's one new little thing there. Uh, the Safari browser has a new kind of text up at the top. Uh, search web or enter site name instead of saying something like you get over here, uh, search or enter an address. It's probably a difference that they did because people probably didn't know what address meant something. Uh, iTunes radio should now be able to on the stations easily make a new one. Uh, and then there's some other things in the music app which I can't show you because I don't have any music on my devices here. Uh, but shuffle and repeat button should be a little bit more in a brighter color. And then also a key thing here should be the keyboard. Uh, which should feature a little bit more bolder text here on the beta 3 from what I could say. And also the buttons, the delete button and the shift button is and, and shining up there in, a, in, a, in a, another little color. So that is also a little bit of a difference. Maybe you can see it even more clear right now that it's actually is bolder. Sweet stuff. So we just wanted to make this quick little video here, comparing it a little bit. Hopefully you did uh, enjoy this quick little video. If you did, please leave a like and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. And if you want to see any specific videos, definitely make me uh, know about that. And I definitely see what I can do. So yeah, quick look.